Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA. Before I get started with today's video, I just want to make a quick like little disclaimer. Um, I got a lot more questions than usual. And so first of all, thank you all. But um, I only will forever answer 10 questions in ASA. I set that as a like kind of like a standard when I decided to start doing a QA and a series. So there's going to be a few people that don't get their question answered today, so I just wanted to address that. So if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, please do not hate me or anything. It's not that I have anything against you or anything like that. I just, I'm only forever going to answer 10 questions in ASA, even if ASA ever like becomes like this really big thing and I'm getting like a thousand questions a video, I'm only ever going to answer 10. Um, so yeah, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to, you know, address that real quick. So now let's get into the video. And today's episode is episode 30. And so every 10 episodes, I like to do a theme. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, and I didn't tell you about this theme today because I wanted it to be a surprise. But today's theme is... It's opposite day. This isn't going to get confusing or anything. So our last question of the day comes from... Lego Darth Vader Studios, and he says, what is the worst way to die in Star Wars? Definitely projecting an image of yourself across the galaxy so that way the First Order can get distracted and the Resistance can escape. That is just the absolute best way to die. It's very poetic and just amazing and just so well thought for, like, just amazing. Best way to die in Star Wars, hands down. Our next question comes from Nate the Snake, and he says, What are your thoughts of an Order 66 LEGO promo? That would be really dumb, honestly, and I don't think anybody would buy it. And if LEGO is dumb, which we know they aren't, then they would definitely buy a, or not buy, make a promo of an Order 66. But obviously, LEGO loves listening to the community. They always do such a great job, so... They definitely will not be doing that anytime soon or probably ever. So, yeah, because, you know, Lego, they're so smart. Our next question comes from the Rita and Skeeta, and he says, what is your biggest set? Our next question comes from Jawa, and he says, what is your most wanted set that you have not gotten yet? Hmm, the ATST without a head. That set is just the most amazing, beautiful set ever, and I just, I need it in my life, so I will never do a review on it, all that horrible stuff. It's, it's just, it's a wonderful, mega, awesome, beautiful, like, 100 out of 10 Lego set, and I will definitely not be getting it someday soon. Our next question comes from Bean Bricks, and he says, what UCS sets do you have? I own all the UCS sets ever made besides the UCS Slave 1 and the UCS TIE Fighter. Those are the only two UCS sets that I do not own, but I own all the rest of the UCS sets. My next question comes from CT5597 Jesse, and he says, What do you think of the LEGO Star Wars 2021 sets? They are all horrible. I will definitely will not be wasting my money on a single one of them or doing any reviews on them. So don't bother coming back to my channel next month because I will not be reviewing them. They are just absolutely disgusting. And I mean, the one thing I do really love is how Lego potentially is going to be releasing a... Uh, the, 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 I remember what it's called. The Imperial Transport with with luke but with a blue lightsaber that is just the best thing ever see that just goes to show you that lego is really good at what they do um so i i, I can't wait for that that's so you know maybe i'll maybe i won't get the imperial transport um but you know so it, it's just it's so good they're 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 horrible i i can't i can't imagine anybody wasting their money on those sets especially because they're so expensive it's like why would you buy a $40 TIE fighter that is that is the most expensive Lego TIE fighter you could ever buy and it doesn't even look all that good so it's like save your money 
Our next question comes from Tree Man, and he says, What is your favorite Lego Ideas set? Mine is the Saturn V, or is that 5? Uh, the Saturn V. Honestly, I love a lot of the Lego Ideas sets. I think Lego Ideas is a really amazing theme that I should probably start collecting more of. And so I, I would say probably the ship in the bottle. I think that is a pretty horrible set and I don't really like that one. Um, but most of the sets are decent or pretty good. So, um, but I also hate a lot of the sets to be honest. So, you know, um, but I don't know. I'm just, I only like the Lego ideas sets a little, and I also hate them at the same time. Does that make sense? I'm confusing myself now. My next question comes from Womai the W017, and he says, "What is one Star Wars scene you want to see in a Lego set, like from the movies and shows?" Definitely a Canto bite scene. Like, imagine getting a giant Canto bite, like place set like casino canto bite casino place that that would just be the greatest thing ever and it would just be so beautiful they could include all of the favorite star wars characters like rose maybe they could even just throw He's jar jar back. in there just because everyone loves jar jar so much and it would just be such a great set it would be so beautiful it would be so fun it would it would just be the best set ever because it would be based off of the best Star Wars movie and scene ever made. And hands down, that would just be so fun. And they could even add lots and lots and lots of stickers for details and stud shooters like coin machines. Like, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? Like, imagine like slot machines but with stud shooters on them. And, oh, it would just be so amazing. And they could charge like $600 for it and it would only have, let's say, 300 pieces. That would just be the best thing ever. Our next question comes from Johan Vermeen. I, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, if not, I don't apologize for that. Um, and he says, what is your favorite video game? My favorite video game is Roblox. I absolutely love that game. I don't ever stop playing that game. I play Roblox day and night. It is the best video game ever made. And I love it to pieces. It's just the greatest video game ever. And if you play Roblox, then you are an absolute amazing person. I don't remember what I wanted to say. I mean, I don't forget what I wanted to say. <laughs> this isn't confusing, okay? Our first question of the day comes from EK Starlord. And he says, have you seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? No, it is an absolutely horrible movie. It is just disgusting. I do not like that movie at all. I, I especially hate, like, the way that they did, like, the animation and everything. It's just so gross. Like, it looks like a comic book. It's like, what was what your goal here? To make it look like a comic book? That's so stupid. Who would do that? So, no, it's a horrible, disgusting movie. And I hope they never make another one. It's just awful. Not a fan at all. And so, that is the beginning of the episode. So forget to leave a like, and if you are subscribed, remember to unsubscribe to the channel. And until next time, have a horrible day. Ah!